So starting later this month, adults aged 45 to 64 with underlying health conditions in Oregon will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine along with a few other new groups. Yeah, but what's to keep someone from lying about a medical condition to jump the line? Fox 12's Haley Rush shows us how the state is planning to verify if you qualify. For age requirements, you can simply look at an ID, but as more groups are able to get vaccinated, verifying eligibility could get a bit more complicated. But we've just learned that Oregon is simply relying on the honor system. Getting the COVID-19 vaccine in Oregon mainly relies on telling the truth when signing up online. That's according to the Oregon Health Authority, who tells Fox 12 in a statement. Starting with phase 1A, residents have been doing self-attestations. It'd be difficult to try to verify it and, and also be able to roll this out at the speed that we're trying to, to roll it out with. It creates additional barriers for people to try to prove, prove their employment, um, which creates other disparities if people can't prove employment and other things. So I just think it, it's, it's not very feasible and not really doable if we also want to get as many vaccines in people's arms as possible as fast as we can. Dr. Cliff Coleman is an associate professor of family medicine at OHSU's Richmond Clinic in Southeast Portland. In our community, in the population that I care for, you know, these are the, uh, some of Portland's most vulnerable individuals and some of the least likely to have easy access to this vaccine are having the hardest time trying to figure out how to get an appointment schedule or get the vaccine. That's why he hopes people wait their turn in line. The problem for for us is that those very people who are the most vulnerable, people with the underlying conditions, for example, who uh, are more likely to be older, more likely to have a disability, more likely to live in a lower income neighborhood and identify as a racial or ethnic minority, those individuals are currently the communities who are being most impacted by this virus. As more groups become eligible, what's to stop someone from lying about a medical condition or type of work or living situation? There's really, I don't think going to be any way to do that. I think we're going to rely on people's good nature and um, recognizing that we're all in this together as a, as a society and hope that people uh, will, will follow that moral compass and do, uh, and do the right thing and wait their turn. And Coleman has confidence Oregonians will do the right thing. I think there's a lot of reason to understand why everyone wants to get this vaccine and why people might be compelled to maybe fudge something on, a, on an intake form. But I get the sense that for the most part, people are going to wait their turns and understand that we're all in this together. We're told Washington also relies on the honor system. In a statement, a spokesperson for the health department wrote, we trust people in Washington to accurately self-report the individual factors that determine their vaccine distribution phase. For the latest vaccine information and when you're eligible, you can head to kptv.com. Haley Rush, Fox 12 Oregon.